Hit as he throws. It's complete for a Northwestern State first down. That's Quan Shorts. Seen Epler. Incomplete. Trying to find Shorts again. That time, Damone Clark brought the pressure field uh, last week against Texas. This is complete for Justin Jefferson. And Jefferson takes it inside the 15. So it's to field on the outside, and defenders have to decide they're going to play you tight. Or are they going to play outside of you and take away that leverage? It really just puts the defense in a bind. He was 3-for-3 three three against Texas in his home state last Saturday night. And he bangs that one through as LSU is able to score on its first possession. 19. Epler looking for a screen. They got room for Jared West, and he takes it back all the way to the 25-yard line. A gain of 12. Four-man rush. Epler, strong arm, complete pass midfield. And a Demons first down on a 28-yard strike to Akile Davis to transfer from BYU. Pressure coming. Epler over the middle, complete to Shorts in a first down. Dave Aranda is trying to figure out how he can get pressure on the quarterback. After the penalty, first down. Epler looking in zone, fires. Quan Shorts has it. Touchdown. Northwestern State. It's the first ever score for Northwestern State in the history of this series. First ever touchdown, excuse me, comes in the 12th meeting. And it's a 17-yard strike. Burrow pulls it back, completes it over the middle. Terrace Marshall Jr. to midfield on a 20-yard strike. With LSU, that's what he's brought to this offense. Burrow going through his progressions, fires to the sideline, and a catch by Stephon Sullivan before he's drilled in the back after a gain of 16. Burrow, comfortable in the pocket. Another strike to the edge. Terrace Marshall Jr. picks up 14. Tempo, Edwards Hilaire. Dances to the outside and into the end zone. It's a four-yard touchdown run for Clyde Edwards Hilaire. It was perfect against Texas down the field between the numbers. And he's going right there again. And that's complete to Justin Jefferson. And he picks up a first down thanks to a 21-yard gain. A higher percentage of his balls, and this offense is being more productive and efficient. Over the middle again, between the numbers again. This time it's Derek Dillon. Red zone, and in big games, balance is crucial. Mm. Missed the Simon up front. Cole, what happened? Burrow, aiming in zone, and it gets through, and into the hands of Terrace Marshall. A 14-yard strike. Well, you see this. He's looking at Sullivan. Look at that. But hey, when you're lucky, I'm good with that too. Backer tonight, but still doesn't stop the mission of improving this defense. Over the middle, that's complete. And bouncing off dudes and running for a first down on the line of scrimmage. Everybody else back in coverage. Epler fires wide open. Touchdown, David Fitzwater. A 26-yard touchdown pass. Touchdown tonight. This time he's able to find a wide open David Fitzwater. It's a 17 to 14 lead with the zone or man. Let that slot receiver run completely by everybody. It was Stingley and Trevez Moore. On that side, Joe Burrow back to work. And a first down catch by Justin Jefferson. Burrow pulls it back. They almost got him. Rolls out and completes it to Stephon Sullivan. Burrow spreading it around now. He's 15 of 16 on second and three. Straight ahead, Clyde edwards Elair inside the five. In the low red zone. As the defense adds to that box, they've struggled getting consistent push. To the ground game again. And Elair is in for the second time tonight. And it wasn't perfect there. 
But Edward, Edwards Hilaire does a great job of getting skinny and finding that hole. And it's probably man across the board. Close off some of those windows that Epler's been able to find. Epler finds his side end Fitzwater again. He's the one that had the touchdown catch on busted coverage. Epler pressured, setting up a screen on the back side. And incomplete. They leak Fitzwater out. And it was batted away by Jacob Phillips, who wasn't fooled. Intercepted! Northwestern State with the pick by Dylan Wilson. And the Demons, with under a minute to go in the first half, have a chance to add some points. This one, he just stares down. Dylan Wilson is reading Joe Burrow's eyes. Playing outside leverage there. Got Vincent on him again. Third and ten. Epler fires. Shorts through the hands and incomplete. Treeport, Treeport Bird High School. Chip shot. Missed it wide. The first half for LSU. Burrow on play action. Takes it over the middle. And a crossing route complete for a first down. Plenty of room to run. And LSU will take it all the way into Demon territory. 47 yards for Justin Jefferson. Edwards Hilaire empties out of the backfield. Burrow over the middle. Work in the middle again. And it's Terrace Marshall. A gain of 12. Burrow keeps it. Dives into the end zone. A touchdown run. For the gunslinger, Joe Burrow. Long season, but already both those guys not starting out to the expectation they hold themselves to. On third and five, Stingley had a hand on it. Almost took it away. We... He'll have a chance. Stingley from the 42. First guy misses. Second one misses. Third one's blocked to the 40. He taken down inside the 35-yard line. The punter got him. Out in front there, might have had a chance. That's a tight coverage, tough throw. Clyde edwards Elair, physical run, and he gets tossed down after a gain of eight. Demons drop back. Burrow trying to thread the needle, and he does it again. Terrace Marshall for the second time tonight. Didn't have in his arsenal last year. And he admitted it yesterday when we talked to him. He's like, look, I focused on my lower body. I fo He's got John Emery Jr. in the backfield now. And Burrow lobs it downfield. Complete for a first down. And a foot race now for John Trey Kirkland. Kirkland races all the way down for a 65-yard gain. And John Emery takes it in from four yards out. A freshman from St. Rose at Adestrahan High School. I'm not sure he's going to have that luxury, but hopefully we can see him toss it around a little bit. Incomplete, just a hair behind Davis. And he's going to be moving forward. Whether it's zone and bringing some more pressure to get after the quarterback. Here's Stingley. To the 45. Under Dan Mullen. Kyle Trask is a good quarterback, though. Brennan slings it. And here goes Davis Price. Finally, submarine at the 10 for a gain of 18. Out. I take back what I said. Another chance. And he didn't leave anything to doubt this time. His offensive line put dudes four yards into the end zone. They bust the coverage again. It's Fitzwater again. Stingley was all over his man from the team. He showed up in Nakadesh late. Shot incomplete. Brennan wants to throw it. And he will lob one downfield. That's complete. And it's a first down on a 28-yard pass. And they'll punt it away. Bryce Rivers out of San Antonio. Transfer from UTSA is in at quarterback. Southpaw gets swarmed, and he gets dropped. It's a loss of seven. Another massive comeback. One other time in Chicago, I actually was. But uh, not since he grew his hair back out. No. <laughs>
I didn't know what was happening at first. Actually, we had a wonderful dinner at Stab's. It was absolutely delicious, and they couldn't have been nicer. And so we apologize that you're also mistaken. Big chance for a run back on the punt, and LSU's going to take it to the house. 37-yard punt. 53 on the return for Trey Palmer. Three opponents were South Dakota Wesleyan, Louisiana Tech, and Louisiana Lafayette. Reversal of field for Jenkins. Got a key but fair block and takes it inside the five and just short of the goal line. A staple for this new LSU offense. Straight ahead and a lunge at the goal line will put him in a touchdown from two yards out. Up at a 45-foot video screen and watching the team line up digitally via Madden. They didn't... Can't hide money. No, you can't. <laughs> they didn't forget much. Even Brian Urlacher would be impressed. 65-14 is the final. Joe Burrow, 21-24 for 373 and two. Are there concerns defensively? Yeah, Northwestern State got a couple touchdowns against them in the first half. The week after a Division II school didn't allow them to score two touchdowns.